Welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to make this nice animation easily and quickly and in a few clear steps. Uh, we'll be using the video timeline and we are going to link it with a moving mask. At the end of the uh, video, I will leave you a link where you can see the details uh, of this uh, video and the details of this procedure step by step and with screenshots and with shortcuts and with everything you can do to make uh, this process in a very easy way. Uh, we will start with this uh, plank uh, and then we will embed a nice background you will size it ok then we will be writing our text Control enter to end the process, then V to drag it, then we can we drag it inside, and then you can size it as you like from here. To fill the screen, you can increase its size. After you finish, just enter to end the process. Then you will find this alignment tool. Just make sure that you are using the canvas. Or the canvas because uh, if you are on selection you will not find it dimmed because you don't have any selection so make sure that you are on the canvas then make sure to center it in the middle of your working space then I'm going to add uh, you can we can start the animation from here just I'll give it some uh, nice uh, texture to uh, to this text I'll be selecting it okay you can improve the selection from here or you can simply hide this layer because sometimes it distracts the selection control D and then control alt plus to zoom in okay and then we can repeat the selection once more see how it will be how it will come sometimes the fonts uh, is difficult a little bit for the automatic algorithms of Photoshop you can see now it's a little bit better selection we can improve our selection Now selection looks nice. Usually I like to do one step more here that I go because I'm going to make a, use it uh, this selection as a mask. So usually I expand it with the four pixels. This, well, these four pixels you, you can change it. It will depend on the resolution of the screen you are using and the, and your image and so on. So I was expanding it by four pixels. It works fine with me. You can find here there's little area we didn't improve it enough and most of the other text. Is in a good shape. We have also a small area here and here. Okay, and then we turn again this layer. We stop at this layer, which is our background, and then we we create on uh, on the background layer. Control G. We create a clipping mask. We drag it over our text layer. Now we find the text is almost done. It's small spaces. It didn't work with our requirement. We can repeat it again if you like. We just you can do it better again. And then we create a clipping mask. Okay. Now we go to the text layer and we add. Now we go to the text layer. We click on the text layer and then we add from here from this FX. We add the uh, uh, some styling to the text. Okay, now we can see that it appears as popping up from the leather with the same texture of the leather. Okay, uh, you can uh, improve the settings as you like. It's, uh, you can uh, decrease or increase uh, the depth, which will pop up more the the layer, the leather, and uh, you can increase the the bevel or decrease it. It, it depends on your preference. How do you like it? Uh, okay, and then we can add. Uh, some stroke to it just to to give it to to make the texture uh, pop up you can give it a little bit more uh, stroke uh, and a little bit more more coloring we can decrease the coloring of uh, of this stroke for example which is a colored stroke we can decrease it like this one so it ma give, makes only shadow okay and we have it its opacity is is decreased you can uh, increase or decrease the opacity Okay, now we have nice looking uh, text. What we are going to make, we are control zero to again again to uh, my normal uh, view. Okay, next step, I will go to my text layer. 
I will add a mask to my text layer. Okay, now you can see that this mask is white now. If I uh, come to make, uh, if I uh, here to make my foreground color as back, that this would be my brush color. If I come here while I'm on my mask, make sure that you are on your mask because this is clear around the the mask selection. And then if I start, you can see that it's taking off the the text. Why it's taking off the text? It's taking off because the black, like this, you can see the black is coming here on the mask. The black on the mask is masking what's behind it so it's masking the text if you need to turn it back again you can see you can like this on photos on, on writing on everything you select white as your foreground and then you start writing again uh, or sorry painting again you will find that your text is is coming back okay. this is one of the of the tools nice tools you can play it okay but instead of this I'll be using the black uh, as my foreground and then I'm using the bucket tool and I'm going to fill the complete layer with black. So um, I had totally masked out the uh, the text. Then I'm going to remove from here to remove the link between the mask and the text. And while I'm on the mask, I'll hit V like this. I had selected the mask. So you can keep the mask with the full screen size, or you can just make it uh, around your text. It's it's up to you. Okay. And after that, if you drag your mask out, you can find that your text is coming. I will drag it out completely. So it's complete here. Okay, so I will turn it to hide completely my text. Okay, and after that, I will go to, to add my, to make the animation windows timeline, create video timeline, and make sure that you are on the correct layer or on the text layer. I will expand this text layer. If you go down a little bit, you will find that it's having layer mask position. So we will start with this position for the layer when it is completely covering my text. Okay, and then I need to drag it out. Just you can drag it with a mouse, or you can shift it with uh, shift plus first. I will drag the uh, the pointer from my timeline till the end to create another keyframe. This one is the first keyframe with uh, my text totally masked out. Then I will drag out. Uh, this mask so completely till the end okay you see that here it came another automatic uh, keyframe for my end position when I stopped the movement okay if you now you make you play you can see that your text is creating step by step The next time we'll find it faster if you run it because it's rendering now it is rendering now you see it is faster creating okay now you can hit hit stop and now we will make a small bonus we can add I uh, hitting like this I'm totally returning it its position okay now I'm uh, going to add some uh, stars golden stars sparkling golden uh, golden stars so i'll make a new layer okay and uh, on this layer just i'll not you need, uh, if you are in the wrong position now it's added a new layer as a mask for this one no i'll bring it outside if you bring it but uh, outside and you release the clipping mask it will be coming as a normal uh, layer and on this layer i'll be using this custom shape tool to add a star now I drag my star inside okay and then I need just to give it a yellow color and the filling I'll make it yellow also and then I will come here to my styles I'll select the metal styles from the legacy uh, styles. We have a video, special video showing you how to select the legacy styles. You will find it uh, in the pop-up of the information which comes out here. You will find the link to this video how to uh, reveal this legacy uh, styles because by default Photoshop is not uh, making it appearing too. So how to, to make these legacy styles appear. Okay, we'll go down. We will find in the metallic. I'll be selecting the golden now. You have a golden and a very nice uh, golden star. 
how to make it uh, sparkling now I'm uh, on the original very first frame I will select the opacity I will start by the opacity as appearing I will go 15 frames for example and then I will change the opacity to 0 ok after that I will move another 15 frames to end the first second I will change the opacity to 100 I will go another one and I will change the opacity to zero again you can see that it's automatically adding the frames now I will not end like this forever I will mark I will, uh, linking control and uh, holding control and clicking on these uh, frames then I will right click here and I will copy these frames then I will move one step more and then I will right click again and say paste it will be pasting starting from the pointer of my video then I move it again here and paste you can see now it's coming till the end so now I need to add another star so I will go to this layer and duplicate layer and I will call it star 2 ok then V to select this star 2 and I'll be moving it a little bit to the side if you come to star 2 you can find that it is copied with the same timeline so I will come here and I right click and I will select all when I'm selecting all I have the options to move them so I'll move them you can see now it is they are moved a little bit so they are now not in phase with the first star I will repeat this process again I will go to star 2 and I will duplicate this layer and I will call it star 3 you can see that now your stars are blinking and not in phase together while your text, text are right now to convert this to a GIF if you like to make it as a GIF you uh, save for web legacy ok now if you like to decrease the size uh, it's 4 mega if you like to decrease the size you need to change uh, the percentage from here it will take some time for processing enter ok now we save so I think this one is the untitled one if we double click on it you can see now your GIF is working perfectly you can add a lot of stars more you can add a, a lot of shapes more and so on if you like uh, I will be sharing uh, you can see here the link to, to our uh, blog post uh, and tutorials you will find the details the steps for this uh, video uh, or for this how to create this GIF uh, and uh, I'll leave you also the description down in the uh, uh, the link down in the description of the uh, of the video uh, if you don't have uh, these custom shapes uh, of stars uh, we are having another video which is showing the uh, cast I'll be leaving also the link down there which is making how to make uh, wonderful stars or and shapes uh, using uh, polygons thank you for following so far uh, join activate the bell to receive our videos uh, and our new tricks. I hope you had learned a lot of information in this video. Thank you for following so far. See you in the coming video.